Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGameManiac.com. Here we are today back in Goat Simulator, grabbing the Trying to Bring Forth Sanctum 3 achievement. This is done in the level Goatville. You want to have these mutators on Angel Goat and Double Jump, so make sure you have those unlocked before you tackle this. Alright, from the beginning, what you want to do is you want to turn around and head into the house and head upstairs. We are grabbing the two Sanctum statues, which can be found in previous achievement guides, but I will be re-showing you just in case you missed out. So the first statue is going to be in the bedroom. What you want to do is you want to tackle the cabinets right there and make sure the statue falls off. Make sure you grab it using your tongue, using the B button. And you want to make sure you drag this guy all the way out to the forest area where you'll find a pentagram. And you just want to place this statue on said pentagram. And careful not to get run over by any cars. You do not want to lose the statue because once this thing goes flying, you are not going to have a fun time trying to find it. But anyways, the path is right here. You want to go behind all these houses towards this forcey area. Follow this path and you shouldn't get lost. And just keep going up this dirt path. It will be on the left. You'll know you're in the right place when you see these torches. Over here will be the pentagram. Just drop it off by letting go of the button. And then we can go back to the starting area where we'll find the second of the sanctum statues, which is the one in the treehouse. So you're going to have to do a little bit of trampolining to get this. But uh, anyways, you want to take this path, which is probably the fastest, is just cutting through all of the houses. But make sure you make your way to the starting area, which is right over here. And then make your way to the trampoline and do a little bouncing until you get to the treehouse. Now with this, you actually have to find the statue after you break the treehouse. So keep your eyes on the statue. If it falls and it bounces somewhere where you'll lose it, then you are in tough luck and have to restart the level. So make sure you keep your eyes on it. And mine fell right here, so I'm going to pick it up using the B button, which is the tongue. And once again, head back to the demonic pentagram. Once again, careful not to get run over by any cars, because that's always a hassle. And make sure you just keep running over there. Take the same path as last time behind the houses and up the dirt trail. And when you see the torches, you are in the right place. Just drop this off on the pentagram. Make sure you don't accidentally kick the other statue. If you do that, you have to uh, grab it and replace it on the pentagram. Anyways, there's a third thing you need, which doesn't have an achievement after it. Those last two statues give you an achievement once you find them, but this third one is a bonus, but it is required for this achievement. So what you want to do is you want to make your way to the construction area. You can either hop through the swimming pool or you can go all the way around. up to you. But it is over here and what you want to do is you want to run up to the wall on the right side and you want to do a wall run on it just run up against the wall you should start running up it and the reason why we have the double jump is so we can double jump once we hit the climax of our climb and then we can climb a little bit more make your way onto this roof with the air conditioning units and you want to jump on the air conditioning units and you have to time it right like the trampoline in order to get on top of this shipping container right here on top of the crane then what you want to do is you want to jump off the shipping container and use your angel goat powers by holding Y. And you want to float your way into the shipping container where you'll find this robot. What you want to do is you want to knock the robot out of the shipping container and then float down. You can use the angel goat powers in order to soften your landing. Just do that. You hold a Y and that will allow you to float. Now you have to drag this robot to the demonic pentagram. This thing is a little tricky. It has a mind of its own where sometimes it won't want to get dragged. Sometimes it'll just stop out of nowhere. If that happens, you just want to kind of nudge it along and eventually it should make its way over here. Once again, make sure it doesn't get hit by any cars or anything. So I recommend taking the back way here, jumping through the swimming pools just so you don't have to deal with cars. Because if this thing gets knocked around and you can't find it, you have to restart the level. And that's not good. But anyways, once you bring this over to the pentagram, just place it on. The sacrifice should begin and your achievement will pop. And you should also unlock the robot goats. But there's the achievement, 30 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.